even if it should These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them from afar. It would be un... You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in every respect, such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. But why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery thanks to you. I now have the means to do so, though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you, but this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. This town must have me. It is my duty to find that these bones can't keep up. What should I do? What should I do? This is a bit much for me. I'd best head home. I suppose I can finish it tomorrow. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any... The doctor examined him afore, yet ere since he came here, his own... I understand how you must feel. There is no medicine that can heal him out. I am caring for him as best I can. However, if you truly cannot, and mayhap convalescing in a... Uh, home! Dear, we are pressed enough. All right, he stays. I will look after him. Let me get that. My bed calls. It's in my sharp resist. My bed. Best be heading home. I 
shall possess. This is no place to compose my thoughts. Rejoice, my darling, for your Albert is returned. Welcome home, dear. I spend my days spinning yarns, only to come home to a wife for whose radiance I have no words. If there is a more fortunate fool in the city, I have yet to meet him. Oh, you bold-faced flatterer. Oh, well met, sir. What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. We have go on. Well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Many thanks. This ladder is here for a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Oh, 
suppose I ought to earn my pay. I must be vigilant. The townspeople depend on me. I've more time than I know how to Minute now. I don't believe I've had the pleasure, sir. Have we some business I'm unaware of? You mean to tell me that Albert has been playing the part of a beggar? That man who would sooner starve to death than lift a finger in the pursuit of honest labor? If this is a jest, it is in very poor taste. All the same, I shall test the truth of your accusation. And who better to make it plain for us than Albert himself? I will place these clothes somewhere about the house. If he has aught to hide, his reaction when he finds them will doubtless be very telling. You may visit us again in a few days' time. Fear not. I have no intention of causing a fuss. Pray, tell me you have word of... Have you been to see him? Such quiet is a blessing. Good to see you. Those garments you gave me had a marked effect. Albert set off to work the moment he saw them, and he's been working steadily ere since. To be frank, I've not the slightest interest in the man, but he can surely benefit this city much more by performing an honest duty than by begging on the streets. In short, you've done us all a service. Pray, allow me to show my appreciation. 
Displaying bowmanship for an elf. My hand would tremble on the string if twere me, but I expect you'll do just fine. I can guide you there if you wish. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Your current vocation is ill-suited to wielding a bowmaster. Tis as you say. I'd sooner stay out of battle. Well, to focus. My head will roll if force goes awry. But not without its charms. I will find that I know how to spend. Here, if you please. Sometimes I wonder if I'm caught out. This will sound like a shock resist. The rules at your left. Get up to it. It is no use to any more. This ladder can take us to new heights. We've arrived, just as planned. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. me. There's a voice within my mind. It commands me. Sways my very will. Sways your will? Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, your majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. The sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. A chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this god's way's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy, Shall be difficult indeed. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's sway? I suppose tis pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brandt's investigation. Indeed, you are correct. I've longed to embrace my bedroll.
Uh, Tis a relief to be home. Let us just say that not all arisen are quite like you, master. A good sleep does wonders. Come. We've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Tranquil places such as this. Oh, what does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. To break the law is to be thrown in jail. As I understand it, the pay of a jailer is miserable for all their toil. Shall we report this development to Captain Brandt? There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Regarding the matter of the God's way, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali palace. Surely there's ought to be found therein, yet official dealings twixt Batal and Brumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take it. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint, but alas, tis intended for a Beastron. You shall have to act the part, but as to how that should be done, I am shamed to say I do not know. It will depend upon your majesty's ingenuity. You have my fullest confidence. Do not forget that we work to... Here, if you please. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. You the Arisen? I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters.
You the Arisen? I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll... We seek further knowledge of the God's way. We ought to make for Batal. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Work your duty, lest you forget tis the Arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that, thank you. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Anyway. Uh. Hubris is man's worst enemy. Hmm. Now this is a conundrum. If you're in need of a ride, tis now or ne'er. I've got to focus. When does my one shift only just begun? I've clean forgotten. Oh, very well. Back to your side I go. I grant your weapon a magical boon. think I'd be caught unawares. I am shamed. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrill. It's this way. A common reward, frustratingly so. It will find a use for wolves. There. Doubt I will give any use against me. <laughs> 
the power of ice and turn it against our foes. Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. We must each of us own our skills. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. You're gripping against the world. Outstanding, if I do say so myself. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Travelling beyond the rift, I came upon a cave whose secrets you have yet to discover. Tis nearby. Shall I lead the way? Excellent. Just what I was hoping for. We're hardly so destitute as to shun an oxcart services. What say we ride one to our destination? Tis the Arisen's choice to make. Though I certainly wouldn't begrudge the chance to put my feet up. A distance divides us from our destination. Mayhap a fairy stone would serve us better than our feet. This will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Another enemy force has come to assist. We ought to have finished off the first lot sooner.
Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? Well, but pray do not make me wait over long. I shall take this opportunity to observe our surroundings. our first time setting foot in this place, but I trust we'll muddle through. Surely naught is beyond our combined experience.
If we seek further knowledge of the God's way, we ought to make for Batal. Pray, allow me to show you the way. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change.
This material can be used to enhance equipment and is a rarity besides. I dare say the quandary of, of what to do with it is half the joy. Pushing on without rest isn't ideal. I'm dead on my feet. We really ought to take a moment to catch our breath, if we can spare one. <laughs> 